In this video, we'll be trying to solve yet another question on differential equation, all right? We have two questions here, question one and question two. So I'll solve question one, and then you solve question two and leave your answer in the comment section. Now let's look at how to solve question one. First things first, solution. So solution to this, solution to this. All right, so how do we solve this? Um, let me write the question down, so I, I have um, 8 plus, this is 8 plus x to the power 6, this, and then you have dy, this dy is equal to, next up you have x to the power 5, so x to the power 5, and then dx, so you have this. Alright, so how do you solve this question here? The first thing you want to do here is to ensure that you have dy dx. And to get dy dx, by that I mean you have dy all over dx. That's your first task. And how do you do that in this question there? Of course, looking at this, our first task would be divide both sides. That's divide this and also divide this by dx. So if I divide this by dx and divide this by dx here, dx here cancels dx here. And I'm left with this one here. This can still be written as saying 8 plus x to the power 6 into dy all over dx. This is mathematically correct. And this would now be equal to x to the power 5. So I have this. So basically, here's the first task when it comes to solving this, okay? You want to ensure that dy over dx is standing as a particular term, all right? That's your first task. All right, so we are now at this point. What's the next thing there? The next thing you want to en ensure is that dy over dx is standing as a separate term. In other words, I want to eliminate any coefficient attached to dy over dx. And how do you eliminate any coefficient attached to dy over dx? What do you do? I have to divide here, this one here, and also divide this two by whatever thing is attached to dy over dx, which in this case is 8 plus x to the power 6, divide here by 8 plus x to the power 6. And of course, from here, we can see that this will cancel this. And I'm having dy dx, so dy dx, it's equal to, what I'm having here is x to the power 5, so x to the power 5, all over 8 plus um, x to the power 6, so x to the power 6. Now, I'm at this point there. What's the next thing there? Of course, move the x, all right, move the x to this other part here. And in moving the x there, you have that dy is equal to x to the power 5 all over 8 plus x to the power 6, then this dot dx. All right, please take notes. Here's how we move this, okay? Or you can say, you can actually say multiply both sides by dx. If I say multiply both sides by dx, it becomes this into dx times this and then times dx. So from here, this will cancel this. You have that dy, which is what you have here, is equal to all of this term, which is this times dx. So it's correct. All right. So basically, here's how to do this. Now let's proceed with this. At this point here, how do we solve this? You have to integrate both sides. So integrating both sides, integrating both sides, integrating both sides. What do I have? Now, if I integrate both sides, it becomes integrate this and also integrate this. So it becomes the integral of dy is equal to the integral of x to the power 5 all over 8 plus x to the power 6 and then dx. So I have this one here, which is this. Now, in integrating this, of course, the integral sign will cancel the d sign. So you have that y is equal to the integral of x to the power 5 all over 8 plus x to the power 6, and then you have the x. All right, we are now at this point. So at this point here, you need a good knowledge of integration to solve this question. And of course, we've also discussed um, the concept of integration in our previous lessons. I'll leave a link to the playlist on integration in the video description. All right, so, so I'll leave a link to I'll leave a link to the playlist on integration in the video description. All right, so check video description. You see a link to our previous classes on integration. Now, how do you solve this? 
for a case like this where i know that if i differentiate this one here denominator i will have something that looks like the numerator i'll go ahead and say let u all right let u be equal to denominator 8 plus x to the power 6. Now, the next thing I'll have to do is to find the u dx, differentiate u with respect to x. So, differentiate u with respect to x, I'll have that du over dx. First thing, if I differentiate a constant, it gives you 0. Differentiate x to the power 6, you have 6x to the power 5. That's basic differentiation. Multiply by the power and subtract 1. So, du dx is simply equal to 6 x to the power 5 basic differentiation now let's proceed with this from here what do we have next let's make the x to be subject of the formula and how do we do that we can say dx from here we can say that dx it's equal to now to do that these two would swap so this swaps with um, 6 x to the power 5 goes down dx goes up and that would give you something that looks like du all over 6x to the power 5, it's equal to dx, all right? They just swap position, all right? This one goes down here, dx goes up here, and this is mathematically correct, all right? You can pause this video and then try to make dx to be subject of the formula, and you have the same answer. All right, so with that being said, let me take this off. Let's now substitute. Next thing we do here is substituting. Substituting, what have we got? We have that y, so y is equal to the integral of, this is x to the power 5, so that's integral of x to the power 5 all over, what I have here is 8 plus x to the power 6, and we said all of this, look at this, we said all of this should be what there, u, you can see what we said is here, we said u should be equal to 8 plus x to the power 6, so in essence, we'll just come here, We'll put this as u dot the next tax there is dot dx look at this this is u we said this should be equal to u as we said earlier and then we have dx um but if you bring the x here we cannot really integrate this all right we can't integrate an x a u with respect to the x that's not uh, proper so all we have to do is simple would we'll express the x in terms of u and how do we do that that's what we have here what well, we said that dx is equal to du all over 6x to the power 5. It's here. So dot in place of dx here, we'll just bring in du all over 6x to the power 5. So we have this. Now what do you observe here? x to the power 5 will cancel x to the power 5. And this would give us as being equal to the integral. You have 1 here. 1 all over u dot you have du all over 6 which is this term here d over 6 all right <coughs> so next up we want to express this one here as a fraction you have the y is equal to integral of 1 over u dot um, this one here can be expressed as 1 over 6 dot du all right so you want du to stand alone Working on that, we have that y is equal to, we've said whenever you're integrating, you take the number outside the integral sign. That's 1 over 6, okay? 1 over 6 integral of 1 over y dot, sorry, 1 over 6 integral of, all right, 1 over u dot du. So 1 all over u dot du. So you have this. Okay, so we simply took 1 over 6, this one here, outside the integral sign. This and this remains. Now, solve this. What do you have here? You have that y is equal to 1 over 6. If I integrate 1 over u, what do you get? You have lin u, okay, plus c. Again, we've also discussed this, that if I integrate 1 over x, it gives you lin x plus c. We discussed this in our previous class on integration. And as I said, I'll leave a link to this in the video description. So, but what you have when you integrate one over u with respect to the u, it gives you one over it gives you lin u plus c. But, but what's the value of u? Let's bring back the value of u. What's the value of u in our question there? 
we said u be, it should be equal to 8 plus x over 6. All right. So, but u is equal to 8 plus x over 6. Let's bring that here. So, therefore, we have that y. Uh, let me take this one up. Let me take this up. Uh, excuse me. <coughs> so, therefore, would have that y is equal to 1 over 6 lean u. The value of u is 8 plus x over 6. That's lean u, then plus c. So I have plus c. So this becomes the answer to that question. Basically, this is how you solve the question. Okay. All right. So let's look at the b part there. So using the same concept, can you solve this one here? So solve this question here. And leave your answer in the comment section and i'll tell you if you're correct or not all right all right guys so don't forget that you can check out my available courses on my website simply visit www.jonahimano.com forward slash courses or you can look at the available books at www.jonahimano.com forward slash books all right do well to register an account to the website and then proceed to get any of the available courses or books you can also join my channel membership to get access to exclusive classes for just channel members. All right. I'll leave a link to my website as well as to join my channel membership in the video description. Also, I'll leave a link to a WhatsApp channel. All right. So join and then you get updates on a WhatsApp channel. All right. Okay, guys, don't forget to like this video. All right. If you enjoyed this video, do well to hit the thumbs up, like this video. Also, leave a comment. For the comment, I gave you a tax there, which is this particular question here, this number two here. Solve the question and leave your answer in the comment section, and I will tell you if you're correct or not. All right. Also, if you enjoyed the video, tell us you enjoyed the video in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. If it's your first time here or you're yet to subscribe, please do well to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon and select all so that you get notified whenever we upload new content. Also, don't forget to share this video to your friends, right? Share this video to your friend so that they can also learn. Also, you can get more videos on differential equation by joining the differential equation channel membership where you get access to first order differential equations, second order differential equations, the applications and other concepts under differential equation. You can also get it from my website. Simply visit www.jonahimani.com forward slash courses. Rest an account to the website and then proceed to get the differential equation course. All right. All right, guys. Thank you. And as usual, I'll see you in our next class.